another person. Okay, and what's the person doing? She's playing in, she's playing in a different season. What seasons do you, does it look like she's playing in? Snow and summer and, and rain. When do we get the snow time? What season do we tend to get a lot of snow? And let's see, I can tell that she's playing, and I even see that you tried to write some of the words, didn't you? For snow, we have the S and the N. I did. And for the sun, we have the S and the N. So we've got a lot of those first and last sounds, which is fantastic. Thank you very much. Okay, who else has a story to share? Jordan, can you stand up and tell us your story? Um, that my dog Eunice me. Okay. And this is the bun and I'm paying for them. <coughs> okay. And this is the um, cat house. That's right. And again, you've got some different words here. What words did you write? Uh, this is the dog. And this is. And this is? The cat house. And I like how you tried to write the words, and you used some of the words that were help down below to help you write them, didn't you? Thank you. And Sarah, can you come and show us what you did? Okay, Sarah, tell us about your story. And tell us about yourself at your cottage. Um, there's sunflowers and a rainbow and a fire. And what words did you add to your picture to start off? My name and daddy. That's right. And you used some of the words you already knew to add, didn't you? Mm -hmm. To help label, which is a one great way of writing. Labeling is a great first step. Thank you, Sarah. Now you've got your story ready to write, don't you? Mm-hmm. Okay, and... Next, I'm going to have Mariana. Come on up, Mariana. Mariana decided to do something a little different with hers. Mariana did not just write the labels. Mariana, what did you choose to write? I write. You started writing. She is looking Robin. And she wrote a sentence to go with her picture. And look, she started with a capital. She left little spaces between her words. You tried very hard to use lowercase letters, didn't you, where they belong? And she even put a period at the end. Thank you, Mariana. And you've got a lot of details there with the robins. Maybe you could tell us a little more about the robins the next time. What might you be able to tell us about the robins in another sentence? What's going to come out of those eggs? I wonder if you have any questions about robins to write down. Maybe you could write some of those the next time. And Bailey, would you like to tell yours? Okay. This is the sun hanging on my ceiling. And this is my dollhouse. And you started to write a story. You've got once upon a time. So it looks like she's going to try to write some kind of fairy tale. Can you finish that the next time? Okay. And Dibia. And then I'll do Eugene. Okay. <gasps> Speaking of somebody else that did a story, Dibia, what does yours say? One to two. No. Today. Yeah, that's okay. Today. There was a cat, and the cat went to the park. And what should go at the end of a sentence? And then, and then, yeah. and then, no, and then his owner went with him. Okay, so hold on. This says, and look at hers, because she wrote a sentence here. Today there was a cat, and the cat went to the park. 
That's like one full thought, two lines, like a big like compound sentence with an and in between. But if we then went and his owner went with him, he'd be getting very long. It's almost like another sentence. So before you write your second sentence, what do you need to put down at the end of this one? Period. Can you go do that? Yeah. I want to make sure I get a picture of yours. And Sarah, do you want to wash her? Um, no. I yeah, go ahead. No, she can go. And Jean, come on up. This is my dad and me. Okay. And look what Jean did. Jean added his name, and he added his dad's name, and he you used your sounds to help you, didn't you, Jean? Yeah. Thank you, Jean. I think you should maybe tell a little story the next time about yours. Ricardo, would you like to tell about yours? Come on up. And then I'm going to save the end for Alicia because she has a lot of words. The, just, that's okay. Just tell us about it. What did you... The words. You didn't write a sentence, but... You did do a lot of labeling. What did you label? I can't, you can tell them. Okay, what is it? You wrote the? Mm -hmm. I'm going to tell them? Yeah. He wrote the clouds and tree. And you even used your name card to write? That's me. Your, that's Ricardo, and he said the sentence that he wants to write is, that's me with my dog playing outside, which I think we could write tomorrow. Do you think we could try it tomorrow? Excellent. And lastly, I'm going to have Alicia come up, and everybody else, just make sure that your lovely sentences and stories are on the ground flat in front of you, because you don't want to ruin them. Who has them sitting so nicely in front of them? They don't ruin their good work. If you need to, stick it behind you so that you're not, like, tempted by it. Put it right behind you if you need to. It's fine. That's because you worked so hard today. What did you draw a picture of for me? But you did something special with yours. You were the first one that did it. What did you start to add? Uh, what did you dog. Write? Right, but you wrote some words. You wrote dog, and you wrote necklace, and you wrote... Yeah, right. And? Ne and dress. And you used the letter sounds. You know to spell them all by yourself. So I like how different people chose to write in different ways.